So Sonic Adventure set itself apart from the rest of the pack, marking the first step in the amazing new modern era of the mascot's journey. But it's not like everything that came before that was shit either, right? And uh, believe it or not, Sega wasn't the only company who thought that. Interestingly enough, it was actually an old rival of Sega's that had their eye on the prize. But first, we actually have to go back before Sonic was even born to 1990. As the 80s became the 90s, arcade companies were feeling an awful lot of pressure to start expanding into the home. The video game crash was over, and Nintendo, along with Sega and a few distant competitors, were making a more stable environment for home console gaming. Shin Nihon Kikaku, now known as SNK Corporation, was an arcade game and cabinet developer, but decided to join up with Nintendo in the mid-80s as a third-party developer, eventually moving on from just creating ports to developing original games for the NES, 1989's Baseball Stars, and 1990's Crystallis. As the decade came to a close, SNK noticed a new wave of consoles being released, the Sega Genesis, the Hudson Soft TurboGrafx-16, and Nintendo's own Super NES. Striking out on their own, they developed two separate systems at the same time. The first, an arcade system called Multi-Video System, which allowed for arcade cabinets to support more than one game, allowing them to essentially become standing consoles, and the Advanced Entertainment System, a home console whose name, I'm sure, didn't piss off Nintendo at all. Their arcade system was met with wild success, while the AES and its successors had more difficulty in the Nintendo and Sega-dominated home console market. Soon enough, they decided to make a handheld system like their competitors, eventually releasing the Neo Geo Pocket in 1998, and almost immediately discontinuing it due to horrible sales, but then released the Neo Geo Pocket Color to much better response, until it was discontinued in 2000 and SNK folded and got bought out by Aruz. But in the midst of all that, Twelve weeks after Sonic Adventure was released in the Dreamcast, SNK brought us this for the Neo Geo Pocket Color. Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure is such an anomaly in the Sonic franchise, it's hard to really explain without getting into the game itself. So for starters, it was developed by SNK, not Sega, though Yuji Naka did oversee the process. And at its core, it's essentially just a handheld port of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. But wait, this level looks like Green Hill Zone from Sonic 1, and this one looks like Scrap Brain Zone too, except for those pistons and screws from Metropolis Zone. Yeah, this game managed to mix and match elements from both of the first two games, and to top it all off, the soundtrack is primarily composed of music from Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, and even a few from Sonic Jam of all places. Speaking of Sonic Jam, doesn't this kind of remind you of the handheld version? I mean, it's a sort of port borrowing from all over the place on a handheld that was not made by Sega. In a lot of ways, Sonic Pocket Adventure is what the handheld Sonic Jam could have been if it wasn't hamstrung by a garbage console. And Pocket Adventure is really good. It got almost perfect review scores across the board. I've been waiting 18 years to try this out. All right, well then let's see if it lives up to the hype. Does it? Sorry. Sorry, I dropped your game. Your expensive did it, did 90s game. Did it live game. up to the hype? Bitter. Not as bitter as a Switch cartridge, though. Vega! Vega! Hey, guys. Welcome to the Deep Pad. Oh, shit. This game Check looks this shit kooky. out. Why? Look at that. Oh, press a button. Press A button. No. Nope. Well. Should I go to room or should I start? Oh, uh, well, we start. Let's go to start. Neo South Island Zone. Oh, wow. That's the first time we've ever actually seen that. Yeah, I think it's the first time I've ever acknowledged South Island in the games. Yeah. Okay. This is all right. Yeah, it looks like the visuals are styled after Green Hill Zone for this one. Sure does. So that's the thing is the visuals are all based off of uh, Sonic 1, uh, mostly Sonic 2, but a little of Sonic 1. Yeah. And the music is mostly based off of Sonic 3. This Curious. one I don't think is. I think this is an original one. I also think every act has a different has a different uh different song. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, a little unusual, but can roll with it. Can I? I want to go over here. Can you just spin dash into stuff? Or? There were... Yeah. Whoa. Oh. oh. Thanks, Rick. God, Rick. <laughs> Who invited Rick? <laughs> Rick. <laughs> All right. Well, now I know. Nice. Yeah. This. I mean, the look of it is pretty it's, neat. Yeah, it's it's different. The colors are almost a little bit too contrasted. The screen but feels fucking tiny. I mean, that's why I just died, right? Like, yeah. I can't see any of the screen. Oh, what is that? I don't know. Okay. So that's neat. Cool. Um, but yeah, this... I mean, it looks like a pretty worthy successor to the Aspect Sonic games. Yep. Like uh, Sonic Chaos, Sonic Triple Trouble, all yeah, that stuff. Yeah, totally. It, it kind of feels that way, like a yeah. like a next step there. It's actually more lo-fi than I thought it would be. Oops. I thought, from what I knew about the system, that it was a little bit higher. I mean, 
the power, Neo, but... Really, the Neo Geo Pocket Color is, like, it's better than the Game Boy Color generally. But not a lot. But not a lot. They're pretty cool. competitive otherwise. I want to say one of the Wonder, on, the Wonder Swan there. Color was also fairly competitive go. with both of them in terms of, like, power and stuff. See, this... Oh! Shit, okay. Was that a, oh, actually, go back. I think that was a Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I'm trying to... Oops, so, if you go up to the left... Or, no, it's like in the... I think it's above this loop-to-loop. -loop. Do you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're in boxes in this game? I think so, yeah. Well, how the fuck do I get there? Jump, just jump to the left. Don't spin dash, yeah. There oh. you go. Whoop. Ah, fuck you. That's just oh, a shield. Oh, it's a shield. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So are you All sure right. they're in boxes in this game? I, I see, guess I'm less sure. I'm, maybe, I'm it's 50, maybe it's 50 rings. Exactly. The the I, that's kind of what I was trying for, but whatever. Actually, I could probably get 50. You can still like, relatively so long easier. As, yeah, so long as you're careful about the rest here. Yeah, you should be fine. All right. Okay. So, I want to say that this is one of those aggravating games where you need to collect Chaos Emeralds in the, each of the zones or something, but I'm not positive on that. I think we're at the end here if you want to jump. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So uh, welcome back to the D-Pad. I'm John. I'm, I'm Rick. And this is uh, we Sonic definitely Pocket already Adventure. Did an intro, I don't think we so. said our names. Well, no, but we probably oh, did a live look intro at this before shit. this. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Wow, yeah, this looks pretty consistent with Sonic 2. Yeah, it's like verbatim. Yeah. A little less time to see when rings are coming, but otherwise, yeah. though, this doesn't look this bad. This actually is good for the way the screen is shaped. Yeah. Is it longer than it is wide? I think it is. I don't know. I'll have to... I'll do a comparison. So the Genesis had this resolution and this aspect ratio, and the Neo Geo Pocket Color has this resolution and this aspect ratio. Yeah. So yeah. they are probably fairly similar, but... No, man. This is nowhere near 4.3. Look at it. Uh, the Genesis wasn't 4.3 either. What was it? It'd be close. Off the top of my head, I don't remember, but none of the old on... classic ones were quite 4.3. Well, it looked correct on those TVs, though, right? So, like, what, sure, but that's because they it? had a blank column on the side, and oh, what was that? I don't know. Maybe that was a good thing. It looked like a flower. Yeah, but I'm just trained to jump at anything not a ring. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, oh, what I the know. fuck that was? We or, haven't seen maybe, any obstacles yet, so yeah, like, maybe it was a fuse on a bomb, but it uh, really looked like a flower. So I'm gonna I if, it, if another one comes at me right now, I'll grab it. Nope. Well, all right. I bet it's an obstacle, but like. I just don't know. And especially if we don't have many chances at these Chaos Emeralds, like... Yeah. I don't know that we want to risk it too, too much. But fucking, you might need the flower, for all I know. Well, yeah, those, those are, are definitely... Right, so those are those. So the flower so, is something else. Yeah. That's so weird. Fuck you, game. Oh. Oop. Uh, uh, two, two, uh, two gun shy trigger two, happy Two, two Sonic Warrior. Claire! Who's Claire? Yeah. Ooh, they're back to being shaped Boom. like the Sonic 2 version. Yeah, yeah they're really... Uh, it's a nice little mashup of all the... Uh, so far, just... Yeah, you're right. That is definitely Sonic 3 music. Though. Yeah. And Sonic 3 font on the bottom left there. On the bottom left? Like the ring bonus, clear bonus, total score. Oh, I guess so. Yeah, see? So that's Angel Island 2, I think? Yeah, it seems like it. Do-do-do-do. Yeah, I uh, I like this game, but I actually I, this might be Act One. Now that I think about it, but. the screen needs to be wider. It's it's it completely undermines the the way you want to play a Sonic game. Yeah, I mean they definitely at the very least they kept Sonic small. That was one of the bigger issues with the Game Gear was that Sonic was ah, oftentimes yeah, so huge that it was impossible to see where you what you were doing. At least here he's small enough that like you have some chance. Is this the exact layout from Emerald Hill Zone? It might be. Actually, wow, I think it is. I don't super mind, I guess? Oh. Right, be cool, everybody. Yeah, like, I, I'm too scared to go... Uh, a little Sonic exactly. CD in there. Yeah, yeah, that's, All right. I mean, that's cool. I really like a shield. Okay, so nothing for having 50 rings and hitting a checkpoint. So that's good to know. We don't have to sweat that anymore. Can you, can you spin? Oh, right. I love it. I, I really like these renditions of the themes, actually. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, for sure. Oh, is it just going to be a boss? It's boss time? Or is it a... Oh. oh, it is. Shit. Nope. Oh, okay, shit. 
Is that Sonic 3 boss music? That boss looks actually like a boss from... That looks like if you took the, aqua uh, the aquatic um, ruin boss and just took him out of the oh, air. Oh, fuck. It's interesting. This is the original Sonic Mania, right? It's like a mashup. Oh, oh bummer. Mashup of all the different... Yeah, I was happy with the timing of this. It feels very appropriate, because this yeah. is basically a mashup of the old games, and Sonic Mania is also basically a mashup of the old games. Yeah. I mean, half of it's a mashup of the old games. There is do, original do, stuff, do, too. Do, do. This is similar to the... It's Sonic this 3 boss Sonic music. 2. No. Sonic 3. It's definitely Sonic 3 okay. boss music. It's hard for me to think of the Sonic other while it's was, playing. Uh, bum, you know bum, 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 It just starts the same. They do start very similarly. You can do it. Oh, yeah. Is he spinning around? Oh! He's got tricks. Ah, fuck. Oh, that's not good. Hey! Nice. Very nice. <laughs> there we go. Neato. Didn't even need to know where it was going to be. Look at all those flickies and squirrels becoming each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> Shit, uh, what's right, next that's then? I cool. like this. Right. I like this a lot. It's cool. Secret I plant zone. Ah, it's a secret chemical plant zone. Like, my dream right now would be for someone to hack this. Yep. And double the screen width. Nice. Like, really would make all the difference, I think. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Ba, da, yeah, this ba, is ba, a Hydro da, City da, da, Zone. For no. Is this still Angel, Angel I think Island? it is. Ba, Sorry, I'm like ba, all ba, turned ba, around. Ba, da, 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 yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, it's, it's really nice lo-fi treatments of those. Yeah. I'm trying to stop using the term 8-bit. It, 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 it is, though. Is this It might be less. It might actually be less. I will look up. I mean, the, the, the color mode on this almost certainly is, but, like, the audio channels might not be. Neo Geo Whee! Pocket Color. It's weird to have the Angel Island music in this right now. Yeah, it's now. super weird. I was going to say, it actually would have been clever if they used the Hydro City, because that kind of at least lines up thematically. Yeah. Sound, uh, Jesus, I don't even know what most of this stuff means. SN76496 Variant T6 W28... Three square wave tone generators with limited stereo capacity plus one mono noise generator plus direct access to the two six bit digital to analog converters. I so, guess that's pretty much eight bit. I feel like the NES yeah. had a decent chunk of that even back in the in the beginning. So, I, I w if I had to take a wild swing, I'd call it an eight bit sound processor. Sure. Or at least something in the ballpark. Anyway, I guess if it's two six bit ones, then it might be a sixteen bit sound processor, but mm. or a twelve. Well, twelve, but it's also got other channels in there too. Like I know I'm channels. gonna just get hit any second. Now. So this it's is like straight up chemical plant zone. These. Like this is a pretty close approximation. Very similar, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> just a head just just comes right yeah. off. Gritty oh, oh, that's that thing. Yep. Okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, jump, 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 jump. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. Curl, curl. There you go. Whee! Ah! There we oh, go. Okay, that was handy. <laughs> Oh, I don't think you actually can go off the screen, so that's nice. Yeah, no, I think I bounced. Yeah, oh, I got a lot of rings, bitches. There we go. 149, not bad. Oh, man. These, get, these are going to be hard, though. <laughs> it's also weird to be playing this with a Super Nintendo controller. Yeah, right. We have a Super Nintendo plugged into the laptop, or a Super Nintendo, con Nintendo controller nope. plugged into nope, the laptop. Nope. Because nope. there, as far as I know, is no way to do output on a, on a Neo Geo Pocket Color, so. Yeah, not without spending a lot of money and going back in time, probably. Yeah, and especially oh, if. This is, this is I, like, we bought the equipment to do it for Game Gear and then just never wound up putting it together. But for Neo Geo Pocket Color, that's like maybe one game that we're ever going to do for that. Yeah. Like, I mean, we there's potential. You do the Neo Geo Let's Play. <laughs> yeah. There could be. No, I have no you, idea. Was there, was, did they put out Metal Slug on the Pocket Color? No idea, man. Because that might be actually kind of neat to try sometime, but. Did I pass? Okay, I yeah. guess I passed. 70. 70. All right. All right. This is getting tougher. Woo. I wonder if the if these special stages are straight up taken directly from Sonic 2. Uh, like the, the What is the flower? <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> uh, it's a plant in the ground that grows and expands uh, and opens more. up over time. Don't get hit. Here we go. No! Oh, wow. Lucky there. We're good. <laughs> yeah, that was all planned. I knew what I was doing. Ooh, 130. Uh, that's a lot. That is a lot. It's a big number. Uh, oh, okay, all right. 
I don't know where I want to be. Oop, yep, on the other I side. Be over there. And, ah, uh, ah. Oh my god. This is really nerve wracking. Yeah, a little bit. Where? Uh, ah, uh, you fucks. Oh, oh what? no! Oh, I need 16 ah. more. Uh. <laughs> you fuck. Oh! oh, you dicks! I don't remember the f second level of Sonic 2's bonus stages being that bad. Oh. Ten, Ten more. Ah, oh, oh. so that hit did it. That no. Sucks. Sorry. Wamp, wamp. That oh, was brutal, man. though. That was rough. Ching. Brutalitops. Um. So I have no idea if we get another chance to do that again. So I might, we might just be boned. We might just be boned. Yeah. Well, that sucks. There is, uh, now the game does appear to have a save mode to it of some kind. So maybe we can go back to this level to do it again. I have no idea. We'll have to check it out. Because there is an entire final level like Doomsday Zone that you can only get to if you have all the Chaos Emeralds. Shit. So can I'll you play as other people? Not to my knowledge. Oh! That's super confusing. That's this Hydra City. is Hydro City. Yeah. yeah, I'm not crazy. I'm glad that they paired up these levels in that music. Yeah, is this I the wrong way? You hear that guy? Yeah. Maybe. I think, uh... It's... Uh, wow. Yeah, I like that they did both acts for a bunch of this... A bunch of these, because, like... They didn't have to. They could have gotten away with just doing one Angel Island thing. Yeah, that's totally what they used to do. And these are awesome ah, variants on it. You. Wow. <laughs> that Ford's facing one, I think, might have been from Sonic 2. Most of these sprites seem like a little bit based on Sonic 3. The Ford's one, I think, is from Sonic 2 or maybe even Sonic 2 Beta. Maybe. Well, that's crazy. I don't know about that. Could be. Interesting. This is a fascinating little game. Whee! <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. I want to know how it was made. Like, what was going through their head? Yeah. Did they, um, like, actually use the old assets, or is it just recreated, or...? I think it's all recreated. Because they look inspired by it, but not nearly... Yeah, but I'm wondering if, like, maybe they, like, imported it and skinned them or something. You oh, I bet I mean? they like... just took the original sprite sheets and remade them from scratch. And just were looking to keep it vaguely consistent. Okay, I got 42... <laughs> this is All so right. cool. I like it. Can this a I lot. get it? yes? I'm like I'm Can I like I'm, I'm not talking a lot just because I'm like Listen to I'm just enjoying music. it. It's just nice. Yeah. No, it's a nice boss time. Oh shit. Man, you so so assuming there's only seven levels, I guess you really oh, do shit. only get. Oh shit, is this gonna be the fucking get one What is that? Are you doing Can you hit him? I don't know. No, I have to get on top. I'm imagining the claw will come down. I yeah. can jump on it. Uh, oh, fuck you, dude. You sure? There you oh, go. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. Okay. This is a weird boss. It reminds me of the mini boss from Death Egg Zone from Sonic and Knuckles, but... Okay, mm. all right. Get your rings. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's shit. Oh, real damn. bad. They don't, they don't uh, gravitate the way rings usually gravitate. Yep. Oh, watch out. Oh, my God. You can do this. You can do this. I got this. Oh, dear. Uh. Oh, my God. This is going to be so close. Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, dear. Let's ride it again. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wow, dude. Whew. <laughs> Fuck. That Not took a bad. lot of focus, and you know how focus hurts my thinky brain. I have noticed. You're focused. <laughs> so we're going to come back and hocus-pocus ourselves another Zocus-nocus. Bye. Bye. <laughs>